let me ask you guys a question. How would you like to pick up listings for $111.53? I actually worked the numbers on this. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to share those with you. I, I went into pretty good detail on this. I took real data and I, um, I dissected it. Um, and I just, I just put it together and I put it together in a way that you could really, um, understand how conservative I was being as I was, I was, I was putting these numbers together. And so I want to share this with you and I want to share this with you in hopes that you'll do something with it. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm sharing this in hopes that you do something with it. I do want to tell you, it's not an easy button. You're not going to pay $111 and get a listing. You're going to pay $111. And for the money that you put, you're going to put in the work to get the listing. You still got to call the people. You still got to convert the listing, so on and so forth. But the data that I put together, um, I put together for an agent that is not that great at sales. So don't worry. And if you're much better at sales, um, then the number goes even lower, if that makes sense. But before I do that, I wanted to ask you guys another question. If you maybe even thought a thought to yourself or put in the comments, I, I want to, I'm, I'm actually truly curious. And, and I, I, I guess where I'm going with this is just me understanding you guys more. When you got into real estate, okay, I want you to think about when you got into real estate originally. And, and I know that you had a number in your head of how much money you wanted to make, okay? The question I have is, is the money that your, your goal when you got in real estate, is it, is the goal that you have now, is it different? Like, like when I got in real estate, I'll just tell you, when I got in real estate, my goal when I got in real estate, money-wise, the, the first goal was to make 100000 Okay. The first goal was to make a hundred thousand a year. And then after I, after a couple of years, my goal quickly changed to a million dollars. And if I'm being really honest, my original goal was a million dollars, but we put, we put limiting beliefs on ourselves, and we feel like we have to baby step into things. So I thought, okay, step one is a hundred thousand. And then, and then I could jump into I could, I, you know, I, I could, I could stair step that into, into a million dollars. You know, if I can, if I can, you know, I can stair step my way into it. Um, honestly, the original goal was a million dollars, but my limiting belief said, let's, let's do a hundred thousand first. Okay. But my question to you guys is, is cause I, I feel like, I feel like people come in and say, I want to make 500,000. I want to make a million, but then they get in and they're like, uh, maybe I'll make a hundred thousand or 200,000, right? Is your goal different now than it was when you first got in the business? Um, and, and why, and why did you get in the business? Like what was the, these are things you have to think about because I have to, I have to nail this down first with you <laughs> before I tell you to go. Did you guys see the call session I did last week? Okay. Put in the comments, did you see the call session I did last week where I literally found a buyer out of thin air, out of just thin air, drop of a hat, turned around and set a $2 million listing appointment for a house that they might buy? Did you see that? Okay. For the rest of this year, especially in the wake of the new NARLA and the NAR settlement rules and the, the election coming up and you know, all this uncertainty happening. I, I, I have, you guys have to understand how real this is about being able to create business out of thin air. You can create business directly out of thin air with a drop of a hat anytime that you want. Um, but the, but, <laughs> but the, the bear to entry is, is that you have to create the business. Right? You can create business out of thin air, but the caveat to that is you have to go create the business, which means you have to take the actions necessary to create the business. There's an art to it. And if you guys watched the call session last week, it's on YouTube. You guys can watch the replay. And by the way, I'm doing it again. I'm doing that every Wednesday at the same time, 3 p.m. Eastern. Why am I doing it? I don't have to do it. I'm not selling anymore. Why am I doing it? I'm doing it because I... 
I desperately want you guys to realize how easy this is. And you know, we got in the business. We got in the business to do business. So in order to do business, I've made this really crystal clear, right? The only way to do deals is to talk to people, no matter what your lead gen is. I'm all about social media. Obviously, you guys are here because of social media, because I do social media. You know who I am. Obviously, I, I'm, I'm a big, huge believer in social media. Yep. And I'm a huge believer in agents who do social media to build their business. I sure am. But the difference is, is I realized to build, to build the fastest growing business, it only equates to one thing. Who's having the most conversations with people to find situations that they can go work on? And then how are you executing on those situations? Number one, how good are you are at spotting, at sniffing out situations? And then number two, what's your skill level and what's your strategy to execute on those situations? You have to understand this before I share it with you for a breakdown of the numbers for you. Last week, if you saw the call session, you will see that I called an expired listing who, who was, a, it was agent owned. Now, a lot of you said in the comments that you didn't, you didn't watch the call session. So for those of you who, who didn't watch the call session or whatever, put in the comments right now, if you saw, if you were calling expires and you ran across one that was agent owned, agent owned, would you skip that? Would you skip that number? Would you, would you call them or would you, would you skip them? I don't <laughs> No and yes. I don't know if you're saying no, I wouldn't call or no, I would, no, I would I <laughs> put skip if you would skip and put, I would call them if I would call them. Okay. Um, okay. So most of you would skip. So that, that's the thing. That's, that's the thing right there is like, I'm not calling like you think, okay, this is the way you have to think, guys. Before I break the numbers down, you have to think like I think. If you think like I think, you can create business out of thin air, on demand. I'm just, I'm being real. And I'm not, this is not theory. I do this. When I'm, if I see, if the expired that was agent owned, I'm calling them. Why? Because I don't know what kind of situation is going to come out of that. And why would I, why would I skip a possible situation? What could those possible situations be? It could be anything, right? I'll name a few. Number one, if they're an agent, think about how many buyers they have that they can't find listings for. Those are situations for you to work on. You never know where these conversations are going to go. You're just, you, you are, okay, if you're skipping it, and it's okay to think like this, because we've been programmed to think like this. If you're skipping that call, it's because you're only focused on trying to list that property and you're thinking, well, they already have an agent, right? They're an agent. They already have an agent. What do they need us for? You're thinking, get a listing. I'm thinking, find situations. See, I'm really great at sniffing out situations. And so... I call the agent and I'm like, well, what happened? I treat her exactly like I would an expired that's not an agent. Exactly like I would an expired that's not an agent. And, I, and I'm like, well, what happened? You know, and I dig into her situation. You guys can go watch the call. I dig into her situation and realize she wants to buy something. She really wants to buy something. You can hear it in her voice. She wants to buy something. She doesn't want that house anymore. She wants to own a different house, but she can't find it. And she's only just looking on MLS, right? If it were me, I'd be calling up people that own the properties that I want to buy. Maybe. But the point is, is I sniffed out what she wanted to buy, what subdivision, et cetera. And then what did I do? Right there on the call, I literally looked up all the owners of that subdivision using Red X Geo Leads looked up all the owners of that subdivision, called them and set a $2 million listing appointment. 
I mean, and you guys would have skipped over calling that agent. And I literally turned it into a deal. Now, if she does she buy that property? Probably not. He wants way more than what it's worth. Do I create a relationship there, possibly list it over price and sell it to somebody else? Yeah, good possibility. Is he going to buy other things? Yep. Could I still possibly find her property? Yep. What if she has buyers and, and, and clients who can't find what they're looking for? Right? Sign me up. Give me a buyer that can't find what, the, what they want to buy. Oh, my God. Like how many? I want you to think about how many deals are on your plate right now of buyers that you have, buyers you know other agents have that can't find what they're looking for. Now, are you going to are you going to go out there and find exactly what they're looking for? Chances are no. But you can take that situation as an excuse to find other situations, to find other situations, to find other situations. And when you when you create a huge pot when you create this huge pot and you're just stirring this huge pot of situations and deals and you're brewing all this up, I promise you, deals are going to start spitting out. They're just going to start just spewing everywhere. I'm just telling you. I'm just telling you. And if you walk into every situation with, I'm here to serve people, I'm not trying to do a deal, I don't. Listen, here's the thing, guys. You don't need them. Part of the problem is, is they feel like you need them because you've given that, you've, you've created that environment that you need them through your actions, through your words, through, through lack of curiosity about them. You've created an environment that, that you need them. So what do they feel like? They feel like they don't need you. But the fact of the matter is, is you don't need them. You should create an environment that you don't need them, that it's okay if they do something else or if they, they use another agent or whatever it is. And guess what? They're going to feel like they need you. It's simple. It, it's simple. It, it, it's simple. It's not complicated. This business is on. You can create so many deals out of thin air. It's not even funny. Now, let me dive into um, the numbers Somebody's asking me, I'm going to put in the chat here about geo leads and stuff like that. If you go to redx.com backslash Ricky, you can save the $150 setup fee and geo leads is like, what, a hundred bucks? It's crazy. It's crazy. I'm fixing to break down the numbers for you. All right. But b before I do that, I wanted to say one more thing and it's about calling people. Because a lot of you guys are worried about calling people. I want you to think about the reason that you got in the business, the big reason, right? Spend more time with the family, make a million dollars, you know, take care of your mom, whatever it is. And all I can say is that if you're not willing to get on the phone and do your job to connect buyers and sellers, right? If something's holding you back from that, the desire to, to reach the reason why you got in the business has got to be greater then whatever the the anxiety is around calling people, and if it's not, then then your 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 priorities are all mixed up. They don't even make sense. And so let me just give you my my story. I I I grew up poor. We were we were poor as it gets, and when I lost everything in the crash, I was sleeping in my car, eating out of people's refrigerators, sleeping on people's couches, and I'm just telling you. That, that I wanted to make a million dollars more than I was willing to do. I, you, you, I would do anything. I was working on an oil rig. 12 hours on, 12 hours off every other week in Mississippi. <laughs> like, I didn't care what it is. I will do anything anything in the name of my goals, which is, at this point is to give my daughter the greatest life that I could ever even imagine for her. And that's it. Period. End of story. And I'll do in, I don't call people. 
That's what's in between me and the greatest life I can ever imagine. And if you won't do it, it tells me that you don't really want your goals as much as you say you do and or your circumstances of life aren't bad enough to where you're willing to do whatever you have to do to get out of it. You may be in a comfortable position. Maybe you're, maybe you're just in a comfortable position. You want to stay safe. Let me break this down. Let me break this down for you because this is this is crazy. What I this is real, this is real data from Red X. This is if you're working a single line dialer. All right. So let's say your average price. Is 420. Okay. Um, let's say your goal is a hundred K in commissions. All right. Let's say that you are, um, hours calling, uh, per week. Let's say, and, and I've always preached the three hours, three days a week. So that's nine hours. Right. So let's keep it at nine hours, you know, for this for this example here. All right. And let's say. Uh, percentage of appointments. OK, so percentage of owner contacts. OK, so the percentage of contacts. Right. Con. Contacts to appointments. Can here again. Can you guys not hear me? You're fine. Okay. I can hear you fine. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, contracts to appointments is, let's say, 5%. Okay. And what is that? Right. That's one out of 20 people you talk to. Okay. Um, so, like, you know, it just kind of depends. Like, the lead, you know, if it's a, for sale by owners, you're gonna that's going to be a lot higher. Uh, expireds going to be a lot higher than this. Geo leads, you know, that probably brings it down a little bit as far as appointments go. Okay. Let's say um, that you've got that the percentage of appointments that, uh, that become listings. Okay. All right. Appointments to listings. Okay. Let's say one out of five. Right, one out of five or twenty percent become listings. Okay, now um, say we have a single line dialer. Okay, so we're making forty calls an hour. Okay, like I broke this all the way down. Okay, then, then we've got um, percentage of listings that sell. And like I was real conservative on this, I said 60%. It's higher than that. It's higher than that. So these numbers are uh can be adjusted right i'm being really conservative here okay and then if our commission rate is three percent right we'll just go with three percent it varies okay now this is from uh red x data straight out of their data right and like they've got <laughs> they've got thousands and thousands and thousands of agents calling on their program. I mean, on their platform, uh, you know, every month, thousands and thousands and thousands. Okay. So to get to a hundred thousand, right. To get to a hundred thousand in this scenario, right. The deals we need is eight deals. Okay. If 60% are selling, listings 
taken or 13, okay? Dials made. We're 13,228, okay, to get to the 100,000. And weeks to get there because we went three hours a day, three days a week, right? Weeks to get there in this scenario was 37 weeks, right? 37 weeks to get to. That's like, that's like nine and a half months, okay? During that time, you set up the uh, 66 appointments, Okay. Okay. So th this is what it looks like. Okay. This is what it looks like. You guys can take a screenshot of this or whatever you want to do. Now, now let me break down the actual numbers because this is where it gets interesting. Get down here. Okay. Can't hear me when I'm far away. I'm speaking to this mic. Can you guys hear me loud and clear? Like right here. Yes. Loud. Okay. 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 Loud and clear. Okay. Okay. Um, this is where it gets really interesting right here. Okay. In this scenario, this is, this is working a single line dialer. Okay. In this scenario, you made a hundred thousand dollars. Okay. You work 333 hours on the phone. Okay. During that time, each dial you made. All right. Income per dial, okay? This is this is whether they answer or not. Wrong number, good number, cussed you out, hung up on you, great conversation, gave you an email, doesn't matter. Each dial, you're making $7.50 per dial. $7.50 per dial, okay? In this scenario, while you're on the phone, you're making $300 an hour. Okay. In this scenario, for the 13 listings you took with, because in this scenario, you're doing a single line dialer, you're using geo leads and expired. So it comes out to um, $240 a month, I believe. That's it. That's not geo leads plus, right? These numbers are changed dramatically when you jump up to plus. Um, it takes you six people to get to, uh, get to a, a contact on plus it takes 10 people on, uh, on, on non plus, like there's a big difference in the data, but in this scenario, you're paying $184 and 61 cents per listing. Okay. And you paid 18 cents per dial. Okay, so when you do this, you're paying 18 cents per dial and you're making seven dollars and fifty cents when you when you call when you call them, whether they answer or not, wrong number, whatever. Each dial you're making seven dollars and fifty cents and it costs you 18 cents to dial it. Okay, what what's that on a return? I don't know. It's too big, it's too big to even figure out. It's too big to even figure out. Now, now let's Let's, let's look at this. That was single line, right? If you go triple line, this is where it gets, this is where it gets really cool. If you go triple line, what happens is, is this, is this number of, um, we had, oh, I didn't even, I didn't, oh, right here, the single line dialer, you're making 40, 40 dials per hour. So on the when you when you switch to a triple line, okay, now you're doing 80 uh, dials per hour, and now everything changes dramatically. This gets you down to $111.53 per listing. Um, your cost per dial is 11 cents. Instead of 18, you're making $617 per hour with the, the three hours, three days a week that you're on the phone. You're making $617 an hour. And then let me, let me see, let's see, let's see, let me, let me get a calculator. 
real quick and do this one last. And then I'm going to take some questions from you guys. Uh, let's see. This will be 290. Oh, 1200. Uh, let's see. Still comes out to the same dollar that you make per dial. Because again, this is $100,000 that we're working on under the same number of dials. But here's, here's the real kicker is that, you know, so we're still making $7.50 per dial, right? But here's the punchline. With the triple line dialer, you get to 100K in 18 months instead of 37 months. Right, 37 months is with the single line, 18 months, it'd be the triple line. Right, that's the difference. People are like, oh, triple you line. Mean weeks. Weeks, right? Not months. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Goodness, look at me. <laughs> Let's see. You're right. Thank you. 18 weeks. Let me get a little. 18 weeks, 37 weeks. Big difference. Big. And you guys saw me last week on the triple line. You guys saw me on triple line. And look, look, I looked up the data right there while I was on the call. There was no like uh, setting up something weird. Like I looked up the I found her. She said what subdivision she wanted to be in. I looked up the data while I was on the call with you within a matter of seconds, and then started calling them triple line and got two people on the phone within a matter of seconds and was talking to them about buying or selling the house. It's crazy. This is crazy. And guess what? I don't know why everyone isn't doing this. Like, like put in the comments right now. Like, if you're not doing this, why aren't you? Because if, if you found something better, I'm just telling you, if you found something better than what I'm doing, I just want, I want to know about it. If you've got something better than knowing that I'm going to make $617 an hour, I'm going to make $7.50 per dial. I'm going to pay 11 cents for them dials. And, 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 and that I'm going to pick up listings for a hundred and 200 bucks a piece. As many as I want, because look, this nine hours, I can increase this to 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I can do more time. Like you can adjust these numbers and dramatically change this entire thing, right? If you're, if this, and this is for an agent that's not that great. Somebody that's only setting one out of 20 appointments. This is for somebody only setting one out of 20 appointments. This is for somebody who's only closing one out of five listing appointments, I don't know about y'all, but I'm not closing one out of five. I'm closing about 50% or more. These numbers change dramatically for the better. This is very conservative stuff. I'm trying to be as conservative as I can be with this. And I'm just asking a real question. Why are you not doing this? And not just you, like, why aren't any agents doing this? I don't, I don't understand. I don't, I don't, I don't get it. Like what, what is better? What is better? All right. I, 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 like, I just broke it all down. Like go to Ricky, go to, go to, go to, go to redx.com backslash Ricky and start today. But I want to, I want to take some questions. Like, I want to know like what, like what's on your mind about this? Cause I don't know how I can break this down any better so that you understand. I'm not trying to sell you Red X. I don't care if you do it or not. It doesn't matter to me. This doesn't affect me. I'm trying to share with the world this hack I just found out, not just found out, like I just broke the numbers down, but like I've known about this for years. I've been preaching about this for years. Um, um, I, it, like I'm not, I have nothing to sell you. This isn't to try to sell Red X or anything. This is, I'm sharing what I feel like 
is the biggest hack in the industry. And you can literally create business out of thin air. Like you could be a brand new agent and just boop, just start doing deals. All right. Um, just throw your hand up if you have a question. I'm going to take a couple questions here. Go ahead, Logan. Nathan, bro. No oh, Nathan. questions. Yeah, Nathan, I'll get it. I'll get Yeah, this this whole thing is massive. It's power. I picked up a sale by owner from just dialing two years ago, sold them, bought another house, sold them, moved on. The neighbor called. This was about two years ago. Um been working with them and boom, I got like a listing for like a 69 acre property coming up next week. Right. All from a relationship that I created two years ago. Yeah. But it's even, it, but you know, here's the thing when you're doing this, right? You do plant seeds for deals that are going to happen later. Right. And that's where all the big business is. That's how you make a million dollars from people you met three years ago. Right. And all that compounds into this year. Okay. But the most fascinating thing about this is that you get deals right now. You get deals right now. You get deals later. Like it, it's insane. Yep. Good stuff. Good stuff. Uh, let's see, Eric or oh, Eric or um, Amber Neek. If one of you guys, whichever one turns your video on first, I'll bring you up. Uh, hey. you I don't go. have my video, but I can, I can talk first. That's cool. I got Ab I got Abernique on here. She she turned a video on. What you got, Abernique? Hey, so I just really found out about you, right? And I've never cold called. So it sounds amazing. I'm ready to do it. But my thing is, do you have a training that, you know, that goes over what I should say? Yeah. Um, let's see. Where is that script? Let me I got I have a script. Um sure. Let me throw this. Uh, let's see. Where is that script? Uh, let's see. Oh, 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 here it is. Uh, set more listing appointments. Many... Com backslash script. I'll put this in the uh, chat. Sure. Take... Do you do like private? Hold on, hold on, Amber, hold, hold on Amber, need, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me mute everybody and then you unmute because people were talking. Go ahead. You can unmute. Yeah. No, I was asking. So do you do private coaching or do you have a coaching program? I do. Hold on one second. Let me put this in the chat. So the first step to, to joining my coaching program is to do the set more listing appointments challenge. And that's going to, the, the next one of those is August 5th. It's a week long training. So uh, if you go there and um, do the VIP, it's uh, $297 and it's a week, you'll, ha you'll spend a whole week with me be able to ask questions. And I go through trainings and I really break everything down. So the first step towards joining the coaching program is to is to do that challenge. And you can you can go you can go to setmorelistingappointments.com to do that. Um, but that that's the first step. Okay. All right. And then thank you so much. I saw that you um put the script put yeah, the script the script, the script yeah the yeah the script link the, the script link is there. And then um and then after the challenge. Um, there's a year long coaching program that you could be a part of. Okay. And, and I work with you for a full year. Yep. Okay. So I look forward to it. So right now I just need to get ready and just go from the script that you say. That's it. That's it. And just DM me on Instagram if you have questions or if there's anything I can do to help you. Okay. Sounds good. Thank cool. you. Cool. Yeah. Good luck. Uh, let's see. Go ahead, Eric. All right. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay, so I had I'm coming off a uh, a pretty good month. I, I was able to pull uh, a listing a week from for, for sale by owners and expires. Mm -hmm. I, I'm trying to dial down my numbers and be able to replicate that in July because I really need to right now. What would you say is the average? Uh, I guess you know medium skill set on the phone of being able to how much contacts you think are needed to continue to do that to grab a listing a week with conversations had. Uh, a listing a week. Mm -hmm. Uh, well, it just depends on what your skill level is. What, what I just illustrated here was about a listing, a listing a month, really maybe one and a half on average or so listings a month. And that's if you're like a beginner and you're not, you don't even have that greatest skills. I mean, this is, 
This is converting one out of 20 to appointments, converting one out of five of those into listings. I mean, if you're anything above that, then you're going to do better than, than uh, what I'm saying. And this is making calls three hours a day, three days a week, so nine hours a week. Um, let me, let, here's the thing, bro. You ready? Yeah. All right. Stop worrying about that. Yeah. Stop worrying about, I'm going to get a listing a week. Just get that out of your head, man. You need to focus on, see, see, you can't control the outputs. You can only control the inputs and the inputs are the only thing that's going to get you the outputs. So the all, the only thing you need to focus on is I'm going to make calls three hours a day, three days a week, or whatever you say, it could be one hour a day, five days a week, two hours a day, two days a week, whatever you commit to, you need to focus on that and say to yourself, I'm going to use these call sessions to get better. Right. That's it. And if you just use those call sessions, not to get listings, bro, but to serve people and get better at communicating. Did you see my call session last week? No, no, I didn't. I'm going to start. Uh, go, 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 watch, go watch. It's on YouTube. Go watch it from last week. And then I'll be live tomorrow at the same time doing calls again. Dude, this, this is the rawest, realest stuff that you like. Nobody does this. Nobody hops on YouTube and like calls raw numbers that, and with no preparation, I don't have a script in front of me. This is reactionary, dude. This is reflexes. This is because I've been doing it so long and I hadn't even sold anything for two years. And I, I it's, it's like, this is, this is who I am. This is what I breathe. Right. You, you, but you don't, you don't get there overnight, but I'm telling you, man, like anybody can do this. Anybody, dude, if you're willing to put the work in, to, to, to tell yourself, okay, I don't care if I don't get a listing for a couple of months, I'm getting better at talking to people. Yeah. I'm telling you, if you don't master the art of talking to people about business situations to serve what their needs are, then you're, you're not going to be good at real estate anyway. But if you do master the skill of talking to people about business situations to serve them, not you, but them, I'm telling you, you can, you, 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 you're, you're a seven figure a year agent. Right. You, you can do anything you want in life. Look, look at me. Like I went from seven. I went from a seven figure agent to now I took those skills and now built a multi multi seven figure coaching business off the skills. Like you can take these skills and do anything you want in life, bro. Mm -hmm. But you got to get these skills down and it has to come from a place not of I'm trying to get a listing a week. It's got to come from I'm going to be the greatest communicator in the world. Like I'm going to be the best in the world at what I do. And what do I do? What I do is, is I communicate to people. I'm good at figuring out what people want to do. So if you hear me on the calls from last week, you'll, you'll realize how good I am at taking the conversation and then extracting from them what it is they want to do. And then taking that information and showing them how I'm going to help them do it. See what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. So just like, maybe you get a listing a week, maybe you don't. I wouldn't even focus on that. If you'll get this down, you'll be getting two listings a week, three listings a week yeah. before you know it. Hey, one more, I'm, I don't want to take up too much time, but I've been doing just physicals and expires. Do you think I should add in geo leads somewhere in there? And if I do, how much times compared to the physicals and expires compared you know to you geo do? leads? You know, what you, you know what you do, bro? You yeah. take the uh, you take the situations that you find in your for sale by owner and expired calls, and you use geo leads to to execute on those situations. For example, you call an expired, nah, they want to sell whatever they didn't sell. They would sell if they could find this property to buy. Oh, well, tell me what you want to buy, and they tell you then this subdivision. Okay. I'll go find you one. I'll be right back. You go to Geo Leads, you pull that soda division up and you call them and say, Hey, I just talked to somebody who wants to buy in your neighborhood. You, you guys wouldn't be, have, you, you, have you guys been thinking about selling lately by chance? Right? right. So you use Geo Leads to execute on the situations that you find. It's exactly what I did last week. Dude, go watch the call session because I called expireds, found a buyer. Then I immediately switched over to Geo Leads and called the subdivision that buyer wanted to buy in. And set an appointment. Gotcha. So you use GLE strategically against the situations that you find out there. I'll give you another example. Say you have a listing, right? And say it's a four bedroom somewhere. 
use GLEs to pull up all the three bedrooms around it and call them and say, hey, I see you got a three bedroom. Do you need a four? Right. I got a really nice one I'd love to show you. See what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. you, you, create, you, you find the situations, create the situations, execute on the situations. See, see we got to be out here not looking for listings and deals. And, and almost not like, let's even take relationships out of the equation for a second concerning now business. And let's be laser focused on finding situations. Like what does this person might want to buy? What does this person might want to sell? Okay, this person might want to sell that. Let me call that. Let me call the people around it. They have smaller houses. See if they want to upgrade into it, or if they're looking to buy something. What do they want to buy? I can call them and see if they might want to sell to the people, person I have a buyer for. Right? There's it's these kind of situations is what I'm looking for. I'm not looking for like a somebody to sign a listing. That's what we got to realize as agents. Like we just want somebody to say here, here, here's a listing. But what I'm saying is, is it doesn't work like that. First comes the situation. Then comes the listing out of the necessity of the situation. Like that's just the next step in the process because they said they would sell if, if they said they would sell if they could find this thing to buy. Well, you found them the thing to buy. Now they got to sell. Now, now they got to sell. Right. See what I'm saying? Okay. Do, I appreciate do, it. Do, do the, do the listing challenge August 5th. Yeah. I'm with it. Come, come in there, bro. I'll teach you some yeah. stuff. Okay. Anybody else got any questions? How'd I turn this on? All right, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Hey, Ricky, do you leave messages when you people don't answer? Oh, let me let me get the gallery view here. I don't know who 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 am I talking to? Yeah, it's Brian. Oh, there you are. I do. I um I use it as a personal branding uh puzzle piece. So they're gonna see my signs around town. They're gonna see my social media posts. They're gonna see my emails. They're gonna see my postcards. And now they they heard my voice on their voicemail. So all that works together in my mind in the brand building mission. Every once in a while, somebody will call you back. I can say some. I can say things to try to get them to call me back. I always leave a message though. Because I see it, worst case scenario, as a personal branding uh, puzzle piece. Got it. Yeah, absolutely. Because, like, if I don't leave a message, then it was just a number that called that didn't leave a message, which they think is weird. And then they didn't hear my voice when they could have. That's a lost opportunity. Good stuff. All right. Hey, Ricky. All right, uh, put your hand up so I can see who you are on the Zoom. If you have a question, just put your hand up on the Zoom. I'll take one or two more, and then we'll get out of here. Go ahead, Michael. Hey, I was just curious. Do you have a an expired listing script? Just watch the call session last week. I called expireds. Got it. When you when you when you do the challenge, I'll say it like this: When you do the challenge, you get all my scripts. It's the first thing you get. You get them immediately. Go to go to setmorelistingappointments.com and sign up for the challenge, and go to the members area, and you'll they're all my scripts are right there. Sounds good. I'll do that. Sell Appreciate it. Expires, voicemail, geo leads, um, every script that you can think of is there. Hey, Ricky. Right. Yo, do you use the dollar when you're calling? Okay, hold on a second. I can't. I don't know who you are. Paul. Paul Blake. Hold on. Let's see. Is it Captain Paul? Is that you? That's me. Okay. If you have a question, guys, put your hand up on the Zoom, please. Go ahead, Captain Paul. Do you use the dollar um, when you're calling expires or just geo leads? I use the dollar no matter who I'm calling, unless I'm calling my past clients. See, my past clients, I know they're all good numbers. They're coming out of my phone. So I'm not going to, I'm not going to triple on them because they're all going to answer pretty much. But when I'm calling a cold list, you bet you, you, you bet I'm going to be using a triple line dollar because I'm going to get a one out of 10 pickup rate. You think I'm going to sit there through 10 numbers to pick up one? Nope. I'm going to sit through three at a time 
That's why last week, guys, you'll see that I, I, I how quickly I got into conversations because it was triple line dialing. Okay, got it. I joined the challenge this morning. Thanks. Oh, nice, man. Looking forward to it. I, I yeah, I saw somebody come through. Um, remember this too, guys. Like the difference in the uh, triple line was eighteen weeks to one hundred k in this scenario. Seventeen weeks with the single line dialer. I mean, come on. You want to get there in, in 17? You want to get there in 18 weeks? Or you want to get there in um or you want to get there in 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 uh in 37 weeks? All right. Go to redx.com. Oh, the oh the challenge. To do the challenge, you just go to setmorelistingappointments.com. I'll put that right here. Set more listing appointments. right there and then to save 150 on red x which is the only thing you need <laughs> as an agent if you just want to do deals go to redx.com backslash ricky to save 150 bucks all right look i'll be on youtube live tomorrow at 3 p.m eastern that's right yeah 3 p.m eastern and i'm gonna be calling I think what I'm going to do is call, I'm going to find a house on assumable.io with an assumable mortgage of like two or 3% mortgage they could take over. I'm going to call houses around to see who wants to upgrade into the house and get them a two, three or four, whatever it is, percent mortgage. I'm going to look up that house uh, in the morning. I'm going to, oh, I can't wait to get on that phone tomorrow. <laughs> but anyway, all right. Uh, I'll see you guys in. Let me know if you have any questions. Just DM me on Instagram. And I appreciate you guys. We'll see you on the next video. Thank you, bud. Appreciate oh, it. Oh, 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 oh. Somebody's asking about the Red X training from last week. Yeah. Let me grab that. I have that. I have the replay of the uh, Red X demo I did last week, which was the greatest ever. Let me uh, let me put that I in. I learned a lot from that training. What's up? I learned a lot from that training and I've had Red X for a while. I didn't even know I could do those filters and narrow it down. This is a really good training. I'll put it here in the chat and then I'll give it a second for you guys. I'll stay on for a second so you guys can grab it if you uh I see hands up. <laughs> I see hands up. You guys got questions? Um Lars, do you have a question? Okay, Lisa, you got a question? Hi, yes. I'm sorry, I'm new to all your stuff, so it's fascinating to me. It's like this whole new approach. It's new to me. Anyhow, when you say triple lines, are you, and you're saying it's a triple dialer, like so they're dialing three calls at a time. Like, what is that actually happening? Yeah, yeah. It's uh yeah, it's calling three people at once. So whoever answers first, which which keep in mind, one out of ten are gonna answer. So mo you know, you're not you're not gonna run into this situation a lot. But if two people answer whoever answers first you talk to and then it immediately okay. calls back that other person as soon as you're off that call and it shows that it's a callback so you know it's a callback and you gotcha. can say, yeah yeah and sometimes you lose them there here and there because if they answered once and you didn't answer or whatever and then uh, you call them back sometimes they won't answer the second time but you kind of you kind of have to sacrifice a little bit there on the quantity or the quality for the sake of quantity, you got to find the balance between quality and quantity. Um, and so you do, you know, you have to sacrifice a little bit there, here and there, but to the name of it's, building it's a really- It's going to change your lead job. Okay. <laughs> for, the, for the sake of building a really fast growing business, you know, you're going to have to sacrifice somewhere. Does that make sense? Sorry, I got muted. <laughs> yeah, I had to mute um, everybody. That's okay. Yeah, that makes sense. I was just wondering like how that happened, how that worked. Like if it's giving them a voicemail and then you're calling them back again you or can, what happened. You can, you can leave a message where it says, Hey, you know, this is, you know, hello, hello, this is Ricky. I'm in a bad spot. I'll call you back in a minute or something. You can do that. Or you can just leave it at nine where it just hangs up if they answer. I kind of went to the, where it hangs up if they answer. Um, gotcha. So that's just so. keeping a momentum to keep it going, to keep your calls going and try to hit those numbers. Yep. Yeah. I gotcha. It, 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 okay. I kind of hit like, like, you're not trying to hit like a numbers go like I'm not trying to dial a certain amount of numbers. I want to call for a certain amount of hours. 
Um, if I only got five dials in in an hour because each person wanted to talk for 15 minutes, great. I did awesome. That's a win, yeah. Yeah, it's a huge win. A lot of people rush through the calls to get a certain number of dials in. That's the wrong strategy. Focus on the amount of hours you're having and have as many meaningful conversations within those hours as you can. I understand. But the yeah. purpose of having the triple line is just to kind of keep it moving so that you're just not well, being efficient with your time. Yeah. You, well, like the like the example I said, you're going to do it in 18 weeks with a single, 37 weeks with a, with a triple. I mean, 18 weeks with the triple line, 37 weeks with a single um because you're blowing through numbers you got one out of ten that are going to answer so if you have a single line you're literally standing there for each one waiting on each one to answer i got you versus yeah, a triple sense. line it's calling three at once so you literally you just you just you just max out the opportunity of uh, the technology when you do that well and i like your approach to saying just to serve people as well here that's like the whole goal and the, the numbers will come <laughs> yeah all right. Thanks for your time. I really appreciate it. I'm looking forward to, I'm going to do that challenge as well. Great. Great. Um, Take care. Oh yeah, absolutely. Good to see you. So uh, let's do it real quick. I don't want to spend a whole lot of time on the Q and A. I see three more hands up. I'll do those three questions. So Shirley, are you there? Yes, I am. So just real quick, Lars had put in the chat that cause he had had his hand up and he said that his mic isn't working, but he wanted to know the difference between a single and a triple line dialing. And I think you just answered that. I just answered that, yeah. Correct. So, um, and then for myself personally, so I'm, uh, you know, a member of Gold Bar, silver membership. Um, is the challenge included in that or is it, is. it separate? It is. Or? It is. It is. It is. Um, general admission is. So what I would do is go and, and what uh, if we want to upgrade to VIP? Yeah, you just upgrade. Yeah. And that's what I would do. But you you get general admission that's included in your membership. And, uh -huh. then, and then if uh, if you want to upgrade, a v you can just do that and watch it live on the Facebook group. Uh, if you upgrade to VIP, you get to show up an hour early on Zoom, ask me questions, you know, throughout the week and uh, all that good stuff. So it's. Uh, is there a, a code better. for that? What's um, that? Or so is there a code to upgrade to VIP or? No, um, I'll just have to just email me Ricky underscore Caruth and I'll send you the upgrade link to, to the uh, okay. VIP upgrade link. Okay. Super, yeah, you just, thank you. You just pay the difference. Sounds great. Yeah. Thanks absolutely. Ricky. Absolutely. My pleasure. Janice. Just a quick question with the um, challenge. Like I'm going to be on vacation when you're doing that. So. You can wait uh, till the next recorded, month. But, pardon me? You can wait till the, 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 the recordings are only available for 24 hours each day. Oh, so okay. if you're going to be gone, it's a challenge. Okay. It's meant to, it's meant to challenge you. I'm going to challenge you. I'm going to have homework. It's, it's, it's going to push you. So if you're going to be on vacation, it's not one of those master classes or courses where you can watch and maybe I'll do some like it's to take action then and to help you, you know, uh, you know, transform. So, if you're going to be gone, just wait till the next challenge. It really won't be worth it for you. Okay, thanks. Yeah. Michael, this is for the last question here. Yeah, just had one more question. Is there a specific time of day that you like to dial that you see is like more effective? Anytime that I feel like it. Okay. That was there's my only question. There's literally not, bro. That's why I do 9 to 12 when I was when I was building my business because I um I did it when I felt the best because what I realized is I got pretty much the same pickup rate no matter when I called. So it didn't really matter. So I might as well call in the morning. So A, I get it done, right? I eat the frog. I get the hardest thing done first. Now I feel great the rest of the day because I'm accomplished. And B, I, um, I, feel the, I feel the most energetic, witty, um, you know, interesting, et cetera. So I was, I was on my A game in the mornings. I was the most excited about the business and houses I was calling about and stuff. And so after lunch, I, you know, we all become mentally fatigued a little bit. And we don't even realize it. And um, I just had better luck in the morning. So I mean, to each their own. Some people, some people do evening and they love it and they do it. And that's great. It doesn't really matter. For sure. I appreciate that. Absolutely. Nina, I'll take your question. Hey, Ricky. So my question is, and I've never used a dialer before, they're auto dialing these prospective buyer sellers. Um, 
when they pick up and they get through to somebody, do you automatically have that like property address that corresponds to uh -huh. that number? Yeah. Okay. I was wondering how you had that like right at your fingertips. Oh yeah. Cool. It's so much data. It's right there in front of you. You've got, as soon as they pick up, boom, you have everything right there on the screen and you're looking at their entire profile with their house and history of the house and county records and everything. Sweet. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Well, good. Hey, I love doing these because, you know, I get to let out a little steam and, you know, scream at you guys for a minute. So it helps me out. Um, but I'll be on the uh, I'll be on the YouTube tomorrow doing some live calls. So I'll see you all then. Thank you, guys.